Good morning, my friends. It has been a while. I thank you again for tuning into my channel, 60 Plus Life. I welcome each and every one of you. And even the new subscribers who have come, I thank you for choosing channel to be one of the ones you enjoy watching. I can't take it for granted. Yeah, your being here has really been a blessing to me and I thank you so, so much. The comments I keep getting are the ones that have really made me improve this channel. And even somebody advised me to buy a ball for Joey and as you can see, he's really enjoying it. For those who are new, this is uh, Christine Ochola. I started this channel almost now eight months ago. Just to be a, a blessing to someone who has retired and also who wants to retire or those who are about to retire, to let them know that retirement is so sweet and you can enjoy your retirement life fully and uh, you should not be uh, prevented from enjoying it as much as you are enjoying your youth. And so I, I started it also to make a permanent memory for my family members, my children, grandchildren, and even great-grandchildren uh, that they don't forget about me. I don't know how my grandmother or great-grandmother used to look like. So I believe this will be a, a blessing to my grandchildren and great-grandchildren if God gives them life and so thank you again for tuning in as you can see Joe's bed is still intact they are not eating it uh, snow is not inside in the bowl at all but uh, Joey is very very excited and uh, the lady who advised me thank you so 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 much now he's really enjoying his uh, day, jumping, kicking, and uh, going around. This past weekend, I traveled to Mombasa with my pals for a church retreat. It was such a, such a blessing, and I really thank God that I managed to go. It was so nice. During that time, I also found time to enjoy my swimming, Swimming has become uh, one of the hobbies that I enjoy very much, so I swam. I also managed to do a bit of swimming in the ocean. It was very, very nice. The water is very salty, but uh, we enjoyed it with my pals. I was so scared of going so much deep inside. I've heard stories about the, our ocean, or any ocean anyway. And so I was just keeping at the source. I did not want to go much deep inside, but it was uh, good. We enjoyed. And uh, after that, I took a rest in that sun. Nairobi is not this uh, hot. It is very hot here in Mombasa, so I enjoyed the sun, and it was such a, a blessing. For those of you who have not been into Kenya here, when you come, please visit our coast region. It is uh, very, very nice. You will enjoy it. The time came for us to leave, as short as it was, we enjoyed it. And so we took our trip back in our train. Our train takes around uh, six hours from Mombasa to Nairobi. It was very enjoyable because we sat all of us almost together in one coach. So it was nice chatting and uh, catching up with friends. You know, sometimes we are so busy. 
in Nairobi here doing all sorts of things but it was nice catching up with friends and we did not even realize that it took that uh, long to reach Nairobi. As we were traveling, we enjoyed some scenes outside, very beautiful sceneries. It is dry, yes, but the, the outside is beautiful. Mm. Mombasa is not uh, like Nairobi. Nairobi now is chilly, but Mombasa is hot. The temperature is actually over 30. But inside the school, so we enjoyed our trip very well. As the train left, we were left with the memories that uh, we enjoyed in the hotel where we were. But more so, we were really blessed by the word of God from our speakers that came to bless us. As you can see, the temperature is actually 30 degrees outside. It's very hot. We hardly experience that in Nairobi. The scenery is looking nice, very beautiful. Also, the major road to Mombasa or from Nairobi is also not far from the railway line. So we could even see through the window the vehicles on the road and it was such a lovely scene for young people who are also here i have realized that i have very many followers who are young i welcome you so so much you are just uh, melting my heart when you comment and then you tell me that we are also young people following you i am so happy to hear that and so as you work, young people who are here, let me give you a tip. Never lose your high school friends and also your family members. Keep them close because when you retire, sometimes you will wonder if your phone is not working because those who, are, those who have been calling you, your colleagues will not be calling you. Uh, I experienced that one day and was like, hey, is my phone working or not? Immediately, that is when I retired. But I realized that uh, the friends you keep in the office, the colleagues, they may not call you when you have retired. And also when you are climbing the ladder, my friends, remember the people that you are living down there. There is a writing that I like. I find very, very uh, educative I read it in one of the government offices that remember me on your way up because you might need me on your way down remember that always keep in touch with your old friends and colleagues and even high school friends my recipe today is very very simple as I have always said I have very simple recipes because I don't want to give you things that will stress you as I've said, we live in a very stressful world. So, just uh, hang out with me still and you see how I'm going to make it. First, I have pre-cooked chickpeas that I have marinated. And I want to put it in the oven, at least to roast it. What I have put inside there is just salt and uh, paprika and some olive oil. Then roast it for 25 minutes. I also have uh, kamande or lentils that uh, I soaked overnight. And uh, now I just want to wash it and uh, mix it with rice, which I, I will also wash. Then I boil them together. Meanwhile, as it is boiling, 
I will now prepare the salad that will go with it. What I need is just uh, onions, I need tomatoes, I need cucumber, and also fresh coriander. So you prepare them, you cut them in pieces as you can see and put them in a one bowl all together and you keep on checking your rice and lentils so that uh, it does not overcook. You don't want the rice to overcook because if it does it will not bring out the result that we want to achieve here. This serving will be for at least four people, but you can put as much as you want. So you cut also your cucumber in pieces, just almost the small sizes as onions and, and tomatoes. Remember, we are putting all this in one bowl. I like fresh coriander because it really brings out a, a very a nice color. As I have always said, we eat with our eyes first. So I like the color that the fresh coriander brings out. I also use uh, dry coriander, but uh, I like this for the color. It comes out very well. And so, as you can see, the rice and uh, the lentil is ready. It is not overcooked and then you remove it and put it aside we are still preparing our salad and so we want to add uh, lemon or lime here I have uh, put tahini we also need mixed herbs and uh, if you have coconut oil or uh, olive oil, you add, then you shake it well. Then in the bowl, put everything together. As you can see, I'm adding rice and lentils. And then I put the, the mixture. And then I mixed it. Remember, we also have our roasted chickpeas, which is also ready. And then you add it together. As I can tell you, my friends, I have never eaten something sweet like this. It is so nice. Have you ever eaten something that you don't even want somebody to knock the door? <laughs> this is the thing. Try it and let me know what you find. So that is what I had for you, my friends. I thank you so much for hanging out with me. May God keep blessing you so much for blessing me always. I love you all and please if you like my video share it with friends and give it a thumbs up. As for now as I enjoy my food I say bye bye.